I'm Oliver. And I'm Bubby. And we're from the popular online video show, Feed Me, Me Bubby. Now, we happened to see a uh, special message from Frontline Digital Nation asking, is there a gap between those of us who grew up with technology and those of us who didn't? Where do you notice it? So we've got actually an interesting story about that. Bubby, do you want to start? Yes. Avram just graduated college in communications and he needed a resume. And he had tried some things on his own that didn't work and he came up one day to the house and he said, oh, would you make me a cooking show a resume so that I can uh, have as a resume? And I said, sure. So I made one of my recipes, Jelly Jammies, I think was the first one. And he edited it and sent it out and got emails. And uh, he said, Bobby, you know, we have to make another one. I said, what are you talking about? You, what is for, no, no, look at the emails we got. Well, he started to show me. This was the first actual time that I became friends with a computer, so to speak. I couldn't believe it. From all over the world, you name it, we got an email from them. Well, all right, I made a second one. Made a second one. The emails are coming in twice as fast and twice as many. Oh, Bobby, you've got to continue this. Look at they're asking you for special recipes, and if you can do that, and you bring back the I can't believe I was in a movie. Bobby, I know so what you mean. It's them. it's incredible that we're, we're actually in a movie. Uh, uh, Adam, what's that noise I hear? Did you hear a noise? Oh, uh, Bobby, it looks like we just actually got a message from one of our, our fans, from Carolyn. Oh, and what does she want? Well... She actually wrote a message that says, Bubby, I saw you make a tuna wrap with lettuce and pita on Frontline. Would you send me your tuna salad wrap recipe, please? Thank you. Love, Carolyn. P.S. I love your roasted chicken recipe. Mmm. That's, that's a simple thing to make a tuna roll up. That's what I used on the show. I'll have to make a show for it. Well, do you know what? Even though it's a simple recipe, a fan did want it. Are you up to it? Should we make a, make an episode on it? Why not? Anything to please my fans. All right. Tuna wrap today here on Feed Me Bubby. When I need some good kosher food, there's only three words I need to know. Feed me Bubby. That's very important. You don't need the liquid. It has no flavor. It's not necessary. Drain it pretty well with the cover. Uh, two cans should serve for four, to four people nicely because you have other vegetables in it, so it cuts out pretty well. And then I cut up celery, very small pieces, one stalk, and a little extra flavor, and I use 
little bit of sweet relish, or if you have sweet pepper, it gives it a good flavor. Not much, maybe a quarter of a teaspoon. You don't have to measure. And then a good tablespoon of uh, mayonnaise or salad dressing, low fat, what no fat, whatever you have in the house. Stir it good so that you'll have a good consistency. It'll take a couple of minutes. And my ingredients are, uh, I like red peppers because they're sweeter than the green. You can use the green, whatever you have in your drawer that you use for salad mix. Cucumber slices, tomato, and sweet onion slices, and lettuce, either shredded lettuce or, you know, from the packages where they're a little mixed. Something that will be easy to place into the roll-up. And now it's time for the Yiddish word of the day. Bubby, what's today's Yiddish word? And today's Yiddish word is gast. We had a wonderful gast. We had a gast? Yeah, when, when, when the crew came out, they were wonderful guests. Guest? Yeah. So gast is guest? Yes. That's a perfectly good Yiddish very, word. Very close. They were, they were great gast, I oh, have to really say. Are. Like I said, it's still, I wake up and I still can't believe I was in a movie. It was like a Hollywood set. It was would a you, Hollywood set. Would you believe? With professionals? You got a real credit on it. It's, it's, it's an actual legitimate credit. And the, so many emails we received. My goodness, it, it, this is a, a while after, and they're still showing it. Yeah, not to mention, every time PBS decides to show it, we get a new set of emails. Right, so right. So welcome all the new fans that we're getting because of PBS. That's right. It's absolutely incredible. But to all you new fans out there, continue to watch us online on PhoebeBubby.com and even watch us on television on JLTV. There's a lot of places you can watch us actually now thinking of it, Bubby, isn't there? Absolutely. You know, it, it's a funny thing. I didn't realize I was in a film until after the, they left all the photographers. It was like a Hollywood set. And after that, I was like, oh my goodness, do you know I'm in a film? It was hard to believe, but I have to tell you a funny story. You know, the, the next day, the mailman came to deliver the mail, and he said, oh, you had a lot of company yesterday from out of town. And I, I didn't forget, then I realized, oh, I did, because the, the crew was here, you know, there were the photographer and, and the, the, the editor, and the, and the, you, the producer, and this one and that. Before you know it was four to six people. And they all came in, in cars from out of town in van, and they were parked in front of the street, which is unusual. And the mailman said, oh, like, so like, oh yeah, yeah, I had a lot of company. Oh, you have a big family. And I said, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and see you next time. And if you have something special that you'd like me to make, all I can say is I'll try. I don't know how successful. Bubby, but we've gone. Bubby, we've gone over this. We actually have have more more of the uh, tuna fish to make. We're not we're not done, right now. What do you mean more tuna fish? You mean more roll ups? More 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 roll more roll ups. We're just in the middle of the recipe. Yes, I, you know something. So do you know what? Let's let Bubby get back to rolling up her tuna fish. We'll be right back. Okay, I'm Bubby from FeedMeBubby.com a video cooking show, kosher cooking show. And I received many emails from all over the world. This email touched me deeply. She wanted to know about Friday night and lighting candles. And I thought the best thing to do would be to refer her to FridayLight.org. I began to focus on Erev Shabbos, the smells and the taste and the memories of preparing for Shabbos. You know, we all live such busy lives these days. But we all look forward to the Friday evening. Everything is at a standstill, and we start preparing for Shabbos. Please join me and all other women around the world lighting candles on Friday evening. And if you need more information, type in FridayLight.org for all the information, plus in a free Friday night starter kit, including free candles. A good Shabbos to all. The first thing I like to do is lightly cover the whole lavish bread, or whatever you're making, 
that these days there's so many different kinds, it's unbelievable. But I found that a light coating of mayonnaise all over, when you roll it up, it has flavor. Like I said, it isn't just eating a piece of the end being doughy. So you don't have to be too generous. You don't want to watch the mayo, but you want it to have flavor. And you know something, if you have a pastry brush, look how easy it is. It spreads all over, you don't spread too much, and it's perfect. And then the tuna. And the tuna, because it's a roll-up, you really don't need that much. And like I said, it goes a long way. So I'll say a good tablespoon, maybe a little over a tablespoon of tuna. Spread it out a little bit. That's your first one. Start your rolling very slowly and carefully. Cover that. And then, <clears throat> whatever you prefer. I like tomato and just a couple of slices. And with the tomato, I'll put a couple of onion pieces. People use olives, you know, whatever you like. And spread it out. And then, roll in the sides. But when you're rolling in the sides, at least you're not over rolling and you've got the, something to eat. Roll it again carefully. And then, I add sliced peppers, red, green, yellow, whatever color you like. And a few pieces of cucumber. Like, it's, it's a very like a long way, it spreads for a long way. And then a little bit more roll up. Take your time. And then I like, finally, I like the cheese. Because this way it makes for a better and tighter roll up. And it'll hold better. I like to cut it thin, and you have quite a variety, but the, all the flavors blend very well together. And oh, just a little bit of lettuce it's for a crunch. Roll it all up together, and look, look, you have a beautiful, beautiful roll up. Watch when I cut it, how nice it looks. Cut it a diagonal. There we are. And I'm going to put it on my plate, and you'll see how attractive it is. And you don't want to make it too far ahead of time, but if you're having a lunch and you get everything ready, it takes no time to put together. Now, how does, the, how does that, doesn't that look appetizing? And if you want, put some no-salt potato chips and a glass of hot chocolate, and you have a wonderful meal. And uh, basically, that, that's what, that, that's very simple. And put your own ingredients together. Look in your vegetable drawer. And enjoy an Eskizun today. Hi, Bobby. My name is Estelle. I come from West Jordan, Utah. And I just wanted to tell you that I love your show. And I, I, I get so many interesting recipes and help for for dinner and I love the drumsticks and the the latkes so I'm just so happy that you're on the air and I watch you all the time and thank you Bubby and your grandson for everything that you do thank you bye-bye